Alright guys, so we're back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up guild settings or a guild configuration. If you guys have watched my videos before uh, with Discord dashboards, uh, you'll probably remember this guild configuration. Um, but pretty much all the con guild configuration is, is just a, it's going to be pretty much a collection of guild configs. And each guild config is going to have information such as the channel ID for, let's say, moderation logs. Where, whichever channel you want the mod logs to go to, it's going to save that channel ID so that way the bot knows which channel to send a message of mod logs to. It's going to save the guild ID's pref the, the guild's prefix. So if you want to create a bot that uh, can have different prefixes among different guilds, then you would want to do something like this. Same thing with um, any type of channel logger, uh, guild prefixes, anything that you can think of that you would want to be dynamic for... The Discord bot, you would pretty much want to save it inside this uh, this guild configuration schema. So we're gonna first start with a simple command. So we're not gonna be using command handler, at least not yet. So I do apologize that you guys have to pretty much stick with this uh, basic commands. But we're gonna set up a simple command, and we're gonna say if message content or else if message content, uh, and let's just do um, let's see message content to lowercase equals 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 and we're gonna go ahead and do um, let's see set up set up okay so this will initially create the uh, configuration uh, for our uh, it'll, it'll create the configuration document and save it inside the database and then we're gonna have our own commands to do things such as changing the prefix and etc which we'll do in other videos so let's just start with this first so we're gonna go ahead and create a uh, schema and we'll call this guild config schema.js and I'm gonna go and just copy and paste the previous scheme that we used and if we're looking on the right side you're gonna see over here that we're gonna change this to guild config schema and we're gonna name it guild config. Okay, there we go. So for now, you can add whatever fields you want. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the guild ID. So this is just going to be a string. And then required needs to be true. And we're gonna make this unique because each uh, document, each guild should only have one configuration. Okay, so one document existing in the, in the collection. So we're gonna make that unique. So in case if we save another another uh, configuration for the guild by accident, this will throw an error. Okay, so we can only ever have one. Okay, so we'll have the guild ID and then now we'll have things such as the prefix. And for prefix, we will just do this type. We'll set the type to a string and we'll set the default value to a uh, question mark like that. Okay. So now we have the prefix and then what else? We can have whatever we want. We can have, for example, a mod log, I, mod log channel like that. Okay. And obviously for these, you probably wouldn't want to set the required to true because not everyone wants to have logging set up. So you can have a mod log channel. You can have, um, let's see what else. Uh, anything that you can think of, right? Anything that you can think of, you can fit inside here. So mod log channel, XP log channel, anything, right? I, I literally mean anything. We'll, we'll, we'll just deal with these three for now. Okay. So all this is going to do, uh, let me go ahead and close this out. So this setup command, all this is going to do is when we run this command, we're going to first obviously want to check and see if the, the member, the, the author of the uh, of the message, but we're gonna reference the member though, the member instance. We're gonna check to see if they're the owner. And I think uh, there was probably a way to check to see if they are an owner, but I can't really remember. I think the another easy way to do it is just to simply do message.member.id is equal to message.guild.ownerid. So if this is true, then you're going to allow them to use the command. If that's not true, then you're just going to say, you do not have permissions. You do not have permission to use this command. Okay, so if this is true, we are going to 
Uh, first, we're going to go ahead and check to see if there is already a guild config document that exists for the guild. So to do that, we're going to need to get the guild ID. So let's go ahead and grab the guild ID real quick. Guild ID equals message guild ID. And we're going to go ahead and check to see const guild config db. That's going to be our variable name. This is going to be a truthy value or nolly value or a truthy or falsy value. So it's going to be either it's going to either have the guild config or it's just going to be null if it's not found. OK, so we're going to need to first we're going to need to import this guild config model. config config schema and i think in the next video i'll show you guys how to set up slappy with mongodb because or mongoose because i know this is starting to get a little bit messy and we want to keep things uh neat so we'll do that in the next video so we're going to go ahead and find one because there should only be one okay and we're going to find by the guild id just like right over here okay because that's the unique value and we're going to pass in guild ID just like that. And now we're going to check to see if, if guild config DB is truthy, then that means the guild config was found. If it was not found, then um, it's going to be null. Okay, so if the user already has uh, a document already in the database, we're just going to simply say message.channel.send. You already have a configuration setup okay so we're gonna test that as well so don't worry and if they don't have a configuration uh, set up then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna create one and all we're gonna do to create it is we're just going to create the document and we're only gonna pass in the uh, the guild ID the prefix like I said will be default to question mark so we don't have to worry about passing that in so we're gonna do await guild config .create. Pass in the guild ID. Okay, and uh, that should be it. That should that should be uh, that should be it. Okay. Um, I think yeah, I think this should be good. Let's see. I also do kind of want to put a try catch here, but actually, I'm not going to use try catch here. I'm going to use dot then not catch. message.channel let's send set uh created a config and we're gonna catch the error send build to create a config okay so the reason why i'm using dot then not catch here is because i also want to i want to basically wrap all of this inside the try catch so we're gonna do that and I don't want because I don't want to use multiple try catches that's why so if this find one for some reason if it fails it's going to catch the error down here and we're just gonna send a message we're gonna say an error occurred but however if this succeeds but something goes wrong with creating it creating the guild config then we're just going to use dot in the catch I mean you could use try catch but I really don't want to use multiple try catches. I personally don't like that. Nest try catches are nested inside that is. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and test everything out. So everything should work in theory, but let's actually make sure we're testing out our code uh, just to make sure that uh, we're not going to run into any potential errors in the long run. Okay. So the bot is on right now. Let me go into my Discord server. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, so right over here we have no data. So we're gonna do setup, create a config. You're gonna see we have the guild ID with the question mark, the prefix, that's what the default a field did it set the default value for prefix to question mark if i try to set up again it's going to say you already have a configuration set up so over here we're basically checking this this case over here we are the guild owner id if i were to negate this just to make it go to here you're going to see that it's going to work 
you do not have permission. So if someone who was not the owner tried to use this command, it would not work for them. So uh, pretty much, yes, we know that this case works. Guild config DB, it was able to find a document based on the guild ID. So if this is true, it's going to send this message. So in the beginning, it didn't send this message because we didn't have a guild config in the database for our guild ID. Okay, now obviously if there was an error that happened, it would just send this message, but uh, there isn't an error that th that is being thrown, so we don't have to worry about this message. But we already handled that case, so we should be just fine. All right, so that's going to be pretty much it for the setup for the setup command. So all we did so far was we just set up a guild config schema, uh, and pretty much we're just saving the guild ID for now. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to create the set prefix command, and then I'm going to show you guys how to use the dynamic prefix for multiple different guilds, and then change the prefix as well. So I'll see you guys in that video. Peace out.